Yeah, thank you. Uh, so once again, my name is Maciej Zaharczuk. I represent uh, Wielkopolska, that is uh, the Reg Regional Agriculture Advisory Center uh, in Poland. Uh, so we were involved in a Smart AgriHub um, project. Uh, this huge project, uh, uh, we were doing the flagship innovation experiment um, uh, that was uh, about uh, using drones in practice in uh, for um, uh, for advisory in agriculture. So uh, summarized the Smart Agri project, as I said, that, that was the um, one of the the biggest projects uh, from uh, Horizon 2020. Uh, it was more over 160 uh, partners uh, in all Europe. Mm. Uh, it was um, focused on uh, digital innovation hubs, but there was also uh, uh, innovation experiment. The one was uh, uh, ours. Uh, so, uh, flagship innovation experiment number 16, it was about uh, e-services uh, utilizing drones for small and medium farmers. In general, uh, uh, we made this uh, in our region, in Wielkopolska in Poland, in cooperation with um, Netic Tech, uh, Spernetic Technologies, that is the small medium in enterprise. Uh, it is um, specialized with, uh, with new technologies, uh, digitalization, uh, drones also. Uh, so um, our aims to uh, create uh, electronic services or so, uh, advisory services. So we see that we can use uh, drones for uh, advisory um, also. Uh, and especially for small and medium sized farms that we see that uh, the biggest farm they have or, or they own uh, machineries or drones and they cooperate with uh, companies that provides uh, some uh, services. And on the other hand, the, the price of the, uh, the services of using drones in uh, medium or, or uh, the smallest uh, the smaller farmers farms, it's it's quite uh, complicated. It's it's generally expensive for 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 them. Uh, we also uh, created the catalog of the services uh, with drones on the uh, market, uh, and we watch up the what what the uh, companies offer. In uh, uh, in our region, in other regions, and and generally for the agriculture, what is uh, what is uh, on the market actually? Uh, so it was um, a few years uh, uh, ago. Uh, we uh, ended the um, the project two years ago exactly, uh, and two years ago we. Uh, commercialize uh, the results of this. So we are now offering in cooperation with, um, uh, in cooperation with um, this, um, this um, uh, our partner, as I said, SMA um, company, uh, we are providing uh, to farms for services, that is the field mapping uh, with estimation of macro and uh, micro nutrition, uh, damages in agriculture, uh, thermal imaging of uh, buildings in farms, and uh, biological uh, plant protection treatments used by the drones. Um, yeah, what is the what are the challenges when we we were creating the uh, this uh, services? So that was the multi acro team. We made the team uh, from IT technicians, 
advisories and also uh, end users, I mean farmers as well, so uh, to, uh, to generally test the, the possibilities of uh, of using drones in, uh, as I said, medium small, small farmers. Uh, so we uh, also uh, select the equipment. Uh, there was uh, some challenges to uh, to technical uh, uh, things. How, um, for example, how to connect the, the applicator or, or the, there's on the the photo. Uh, uh, applicator to uh, to bio biological treatments and compatibility of the devices of the of the software and uh, and so on to how to flow the uh, and collect the data from the from farms uh, exactly to define the the, the flight zones and uh, so on. Uh, yeah, there was also also some uh, legal aspects. Uh, uh, we see that th there is a uh, there is an issue uh, uh, to cooperate to mm, to link the the terms of the the flights with the uh, terms of the food production. So we see that that uh, there is issue. That is an order from the farm, uh, and we see that there's no uh, legal permission to to make the the flaws or the or other uh, permissions from from weather also. So that is the the challenge uh, still existing in um, uh, offering this uh, services. Uh, so also, as I said, some technological uh, challenges. Um, so also the the flight dates are uh, the term is, is is short for for the treatments uh, someone so that is the the challenge for for us as as a as an advisory. Uh, we have also uh, challenges with integration of the IT systems. I mean to to. Uh, to design the data uh, sharing uh, from the from farmers to advisors to the flight operators, uh, it is a it is very important thing uh, to integrate the IT systems uh, to make uh, easy flow of the data. So I mean the electronic borders, for example. Uh, uh, when uh, pi uh, drone pilots must uh, have the uh, correct information about about fields about bosses, so that they they cannot, you know, it's a short time to to make the service. Uh, they cannot um, uh, search the the fields or so on. They they. They must have the specific information at the, the beginning, uh, including the the order must include this uh, this information. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, our results. So uh, we see that we can offer the uh, drone services to medium and small farmers. Uh, but it's, it is one condition, they must order services um, in the case of, for example, neighborhood ordering or so on. So we, we, uh, we collect uh, the neighbors, uh, they have the same, uh, the same uh, um, plants, for example, they have the same, the, uh, the same uh, um, locations, and we can offer them the the cheapest uh, the cheapest price accepted by uh, by them in the results. Uh, so we have also uh, uh, recommendations and needs from farmers. So farmers expect generally 
recommendations. Farmer don't accept the uh, photos, the simple uh, simple data from drones. So we can see that the complex uh, service is good for farmers. So I mean that we cooperate with uh, drone flights, technology providers, uh, and we can offer the um, farmers uh, advisory services. So that is not the photo from drones. This this is the recommendations how to use this data, how to use these photos uh, in the practice. Uh, so also cooperation is important. Uh, and uh, in the market review, we saw that the, there is a lot of services uh, for farmers, uh, drone services, but only 10% on the market uh, provides uh, recommendations. The rest provides only data, uh, not useful in many cases for, for, uh, for farmers. Uh, so uh, in general, digital solutions may be used by uh, on the uh, large scale uh, in agriculture. Uh, one case interesting biological treatment uh, uh, in the uh, maize production. Uh, there are uh, 14 in, in uh, insecticide registers uh, to European corn bor borer. That's the it's uh, it's it's very dangerous in um, um, uh, corn production. So uh, there is a, a big issue to to protect the uh, the maize plantations. So we see uh, you have the example uh, the the corn is very high when it's uh, when it's needed, this treatment, uh, and we see that there's a, we can use drones. That is the crop damages uh, examples, and we we see that we we can use drones. This is the photo of the drone with the uh, biological uh, equipment. So we tested in our farm for hectares and uh, and other farms. But this is the example from our uh, test test farm. Uh, you can see the protected field, and you can see uh, unprotected field field on the right, and on the left is pro is, is protected. Uh, you can see the difference uh, as well. Uh, so the drones uh, uh, have the the insect that was the the natural. Uh, natural protection from uh, from European corn borer. Uh, so next steps we see that um, uh, we see the uh, next step of integration with advisory services. So we see that we can uh, integrate with national advisory platform. Uh, now it was only on the regional level. Uh, uh, so this advisory platform that is the farm management system generally. Uh, uh, this is important is to, to easy order to to go uh, to share the data that we see the uh, the needs to integration with Ajax data. Uh, I mean to feed borders uh, in general. Of course, promotion expansion to uh, to other regions that we see that we can cooperate uh, in other regional advisory centers. And offer uh, farmers this uh, the services. So I have the video. Maybe I can uh, try to to share the screen once again. Um, I hope if it's short one. Yes, we have some. Yeah.
these drones to make the complete information for the farmers. The first service is the feed monitoring. We use drones to NDVI mapping. This is complete information how fields look like. The second uh, service is damage monitoring. We use drones to make the photos uh, and NDVI mapping to see how many damages is on the field. The damages, uh, for example, are from weather or forest animals. Another service is for making biological treatment from drones. We use uh, drones to protect uh, fields against European cornflower. This is some kind of butterfly that make the very, very important damages on the fields. The last service we provide uh, farmers, that is thermography of the buildings, which help farmers to improve efficiency of the energy losses. In our experiment, we tested the tech drone technology in 20 farms. We make the flights in two seasons. We made 50 flights on the first season, and we made 69 flights on the second season. My field has an area of 3,020 hectares. This technology helps me save a time. If I use a drone, it takes me only 10 minutes. If I would like to go by car to see damages, it takes me at least two hours. Yeah. Drone images also helps me to deal with the insurance company. In our experiment, we cooperate with digital innovation hubs called DIG Agropoland. DIG Agropoland helps us build the software. Data center of digital innovation hub helps us build uh, our services. All our four services is provided by web application. Farmers now have the centralized tool. On the web application, farmers can access to drones results, drone flights results, and the advisory results. Farmers can also order the services on the application by providing uh, fields borders. Okay. Okay. Uh, Matej, thank you. Okay, thank you. That's all from uh, my side.